Vegans are garbage. You're a liar. You're fake. You're weak. Okay. And you're ugly. Okay. Do you think you know more than all of the medical consensus on this subject? Yes. Okay. I do. That, that's I all I needed to know. Do. You're such a virtue signaling little f***ing shill right now. Listen to yourself. Oh, I don't want anybody to harm themselves. I care about all peoples. But trans people can't have the medical surgery that's been shown to help. That's oh, yeah. I oh, I know. Listen, you. I hey, literally wish you were dead. I, I hate you. I know you do, and I don't really care, because when the facts hurt your feelings, you melt down into a crying little Time to call up my self-professed biggest hater. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Let's go. How about now? All right, now I can hear you. What's up? All right. Okay, you call yourself my like biggest hater. Uh, I've, I I I saw your tweet. I saw your tweet where you said you were the what the world premiere like Hunter Avalon biggest hater or something. So hit me up. Why? Why are you my biggest hater, buddy? Well, so we we do a little thing here. Um on my channel we've we've pretty much been farming you for content for months now okay because all of your videos are garbage okay total garbage okay your videos are garbage you're a liar you're fake you're weak okay. and you're ugly okay and i've done really i think a premier job in highlighting this to the world so Let's pass over the, like, stupid insults about, you know, me being ugly or anything. Um, and let's actually get to, like, the meat of it. So what do you think I'm wrong about? <laughs> I mean, where to begin? Where to begin? You, I mean, it, it's really astounding to watching your videos sometimes because you will often li literally lie. Like, for, just just for an example. For an mm -hmm. example here. We watched your video. Uh, you did a video on, on uh, masculinity about Candace Owens, right? That mm -hmm. was pretty recent. Yeah. And you would play a clip of Candace Owens saying something mm -hmm. and then immediately lie about what she said. What did I and lie it, about? What did I lie she, about? I she, watched she, over she, that whole video and wrote up a response, <laughs> so I'm not sure what I was lying about. She said, and I quote, she would quote her tweet, and then you would say, oh, she's saying that I, I was just championing masculinity. When that's not even remotely what she said. You were no, so she, disingenuous. No, she, no, no, no. She framed what she had originally tweeted very dishonestly. And initially, she had tweeted about how masculinity is required for society to survive. And if you break away from my version of masculinity, then you are therefore detrimental to society. What she then claimed that she said was just, all I said was men are good for society. That's not what she no, said. It's in the clip, man. You can watch the clip. You misquoted her. In in you play the clip, mm -hmm. and she said the real the world needs real men. And mm -hmm. then you spun it because you're a disingenuous hack and a liar and a coward. I didn't spin anything. You can literally yes, watch. You did. No, you can watch the clip. We, we can watch it. We did. We did watch the clip. You're a fucking liar. You misquoted her. And you do this all the time. You do this all the time. I remember I watched a video that you did on uh, Black Lives Matter, and you cited this study that said that, what, 93% of all Black Lives Matter rallies are peaceful. Yeah. But you re you refuse to look at the fact that in that study it says that there were over 200 violent protests. Oh, no, I, I know that. I know that 100%. Then why, don't you talk, then why don't you talk about that in your video, you dishonest because, fucking because, Well, first of all, that's not dishonest. That's just actually a very honest interpretation of the facts, which is that the majority of BLM protests oh, have, yeah, in fact, been peaceful. It for truth. Has yeah. it been peaceful? Have they not been peaceful? Is that a lie that the majority of BLM protests are peaceful? Yeah, I, I do think that that's a lie. Because I, I can go out in my front yard and hold up a sign that says Black Lives Matter, and it's like, wow, cool, another successful rally. Another, another peaceful rally what where nobody doing? showed up. What are you doing? talking about there were what are you talking about there were studies there was a study that was done that found the majority of blm protests were peaceful so, so how is that what, lying based based on what criteria did what you criteria? not read the study because i did i did they, i did and i i did and so you should if you read it wait, 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 you, wait, wait. you know what they, yeah I, i'm telling you right now they calculated uh destruction of property violence harm anything like that into the uh, violent protests, if you will. Right. And but they did, separated what, what, that from the peaceful protests. But, but what did they constitute as a protest? That's the interesting fact there. That's the one that you're omitting. What did I, they constitute I don't, as a protest? I can pull up the study. I mean, I don't have yeah, it. Yeah, right pull off. up. All right. Please. I would yeah. love to know. And also, like, I've I, also, I, I've, I, I mean, I've read this re repeatedly on my, uh, oh, I'm, yeah. on my, on my thing. I've looked through all of it before. Like, mm -hmm. I can put it up on screen for the people watching here. 
So their report states that more than 2,400 locations reported peaceful protests, while fewer than 220 reported violent demonstrations. The authors define violent demonstrations as including acts targeting other individuals, property, businesses, other rioting groups, or armed actors. And you know what? Although it's not uh, uh, calculated here in this study, there was another study, too, that found that a lot of the violence that initially started at these BLM protests were actually from people outside of the neighborhood and had nothing to do with BLM. Lastly, okay, but, whoa, whoa, but wait, 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 lastly, if I could just say this, you are Go making you are making identical arguments to the people that were against MLK marching for civil rights. You are making identical. <laughs> you are identical. No, 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 no. no. Yes, you can, you're right. I am yeah. against MLK. Oh, really? Right. Oh, you actually are? Yes. Really? Yes, I am against MLK. But you, you refuse okay. to answer my question. What constitutes a protest? Not a violent protest, but what are they counting in that study as an actual protest? Because, again, I could go out in my front yard with a fucking BLM sign and say, cool, another successful protest. Like well, this that, isn't them. It's, their report states that 2,400 locations, those locations, reported peaceful protests. So, I mean, they tell me what's included as a violent demonstration, which – is pretty accurate, I would say. Any kind of targeting individuals, property, destruction, any of that kind of shit, that obviously is not a peaceful demonstration. But you can literally look at comics of people who were against MLK saying the exact same thing. Oh, it's nothing but violence. Oh, that's all they're doing is ruining the city and violence do you, and all that do crap. You, do you honestly think that over 200 violent protests... By the way, you've still not answered my question, what actually constitutes a peaceful protest? I, I'm again, trying to read you what the study says. I'm only reading you what the study says, and it's... I'm trying to find... It, right, and it doesn't say it. That's no, what I'm well, saying. No, you're it's being, a bogus study. You are being so fucking... Study. No, no, no. You are being so fucking dishonest right now. This is absolutely embarrassing. You're being dishonest. This you're is embarrassing for you. They constantly... No, playing. stop. Shut the fuck up. They constitute. You shut the fuck up, you Cut. fucking no shit. Listen, hey, 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 fucking stop. I... Oh, 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 Listen to your stop. fucking Shh. wife, bitch. Oh, 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 fuck oh, oh you. I know. Don't tell me oh. to shut the fuck up. Oh, I'll I know. fucking take I know. you in a ring. And I know you're mad. One I know. Around. I know, pussy. I know you're mad. I know, and when the facts oh, hurt, yeah. oh, I, I know. Listen, you. I hey. literally wish you were dead. I, I hate. You. I know you do, and I don't really care because when the facts hurt your feelings, you melt down into a crying little pussy like what you're doing right now. Oh, I'm not now crying. listen, this is pure this masculinity, study... and you wouldn't recognize it because you're a low T bitch. How about you go to the doctor and get your fucking T checked? You can't even grow fucking facial hair, dude. All right, you I'm can't not even really trying. Oh, all right, listen, hair. truthfully, I'm not trying to have like a roast war with you here. I'm actually trying to debate this with you for a second. Oh, I'm trying to have a roast they, war. Yeah, they ahead. define they define what the violent demonstrations are, and that includes acts targeting people and then you're saying well they didn't say what constitutes a peaceful protest yes, obvious, that's, that's obviously the op when you're fucking obviously the up hold on obviously because you can pad those numbers very easily oh my you god dunk obviously retard. hold on Ob obviously obviously peaceful protests are the opposite of what they define as the violent demonstrations you're so biased towards blm that you're just you think 220 and again, and hold on again, you think 220 violent demonstrations somehow means that all of BLM is therefore terrible and violent? What other group has over 200 violent protests and isn't designated a terrorist group? Are you kidding me? I, I don't know, but I'm sure I could find no, some. No, and so, also, no, oh, even I, if... I don't know. Hold on. I could find something. No, you hold on. Even if... a fact. They're okay. a fucking terrorist organization. Well, that's a bullshit. That's bullshit lie. But even if they are more violent than, other, than previous groups, or even if 220 violent demonstrations is more so than any other group uh, in recent history, that's irrelevant because BLM was also the largest civil rights movement with tens of millions of Americans marching. So if you factor all that in and then look at how there was only 200 or I'm sorry, less than 220 violent demonstrations, you look like the fucking retard here because you're you too like retard No, because, because you're too stupid you to read a study. Me, you cannot tell me. I I I read the study and guess what? The study's fake as shit because it does not tell you what constitutes or what, what falls in the definition of a protest. Because again, I could go out in my front fucking that's just a lie right now. Sign. No, it's not. It does not tell you. It doesn't, it doesn't tell you uh, in order to be defined as a protest, peaceful or violent, there must be at least this many participants. That's, it must be in this. Oh, okay, so what, so what you're doing. Hold on, hold on. What you're doing right now. of what a protest is. Okay, so what you're doing right now is you are. Uh, um, uh, in, uh, um, um, get it out, you fucking stuttering pussy. Okay. <laughs> what you're doing right now <laughs> is you are pivoting hardcore. Okay. No, I'm, and I've, I'm not pivoting on anything. I've been remaining on the same fact for the past 10 minutes. I want you to tell me in that no, study all you're doing, what you constitutes as a protest. Because, again, I could go out in my front yard. I am reading from the a, article, my dude. I don't know 
what they yeah, I know. They that's, constitute. That's your stick. All you, you know, do is read fucking Reddit, and you're like, oh, well, this, this must isn't be a Reddit. Fact. This, nope, this isn't Reddit. This comes from Time Magazine, and again, this was a very uh, in-depth study. It was a new report, actually. Oh, if it's so uh, and it was depth, published by a non. You, hold on, hold if on. If it's so in-depth, then why can't it tell you what constitutes the protest? Hunter? All right, let me. Let me I'm, I'm, I'm looking into the actual like full-on study here to try to find it, but. I mean, obviously, the peaceful protest is going to be the opposite, right? Of like how they they obviously categorize Why violent are you, protests. How, are you this stupid that I would can't be, understand what I'm asking you? No, because I understand like, what you're saying. What you're do, do, no, no, no. What you're saying? Another example. What you're saying right here? now? What you're saying right now is because they don't categorize what a um, peaceful protest is, even though they categorize very clearly what a violent demonstration is, that that somehow means the data isn't good. You don't have yeah, any. You don't have. There's, there's hold no on. You don't have count. No. You don't. Up what a peaceful protest is so That's you can pull shit the, the peaceful protest is no the peaceful protest is the opposite of what the authors defined as a violent demonstration how are you not getting this man again i could go out i could i could start a fucking facebook group and be like hey we're having a protest don't actually fucking do anything and these people in this study could be like all right cool chalk one up for the good guys that's a okay peaceful I, protest I understand i understand what you mean yeah but that's uh, I understand that you are suggesting that it could be susceptible to like being easily manipulated, manipulated, but that's just not what happened because this was. How do you know that? Because I'm because I'm reading they, the re because I'm reading the report, buddy. The report states that more than two thousand four hundred locations. It was these locations that reported the peaceful protests, not the actual study. So these locations would have been taking a gauge based on like. Yeah, a group of people being there and lack of violence or a violent demonstration, which they categorize a violent demonstration is pretty clear cut. I mean, pretty clear cut yeah, example exactly. of targeting it's, it's people. Pre, it's pretty, isn't it pretty funny? So what that do they you can, think they a peaceful so protest easily... is? What do you mean? I'm, 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 so, I would say, I don't know, I'm more than 100 people. I would say, or 50 okay. people. I would, I would at least, I'm not an expert on what a protest is. That's why I would like it clearly defined in that study. And they admit that. And that's what I'm telling you. They, it, 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 you can so easily pad this study, but you're taking it as law. You trust no. this more than you trust the Bible. You trust this more than your own fucking political opinions would seem to change every fucking year. Uh, okay, well, you're jumping all over the place right now. Yeah, I don't trust the Bible at all, and I don't know why anyone should. Second of all, um, this like this data is the only comprehensive data that is collected so far on BLM, which has found that the majority have been peaceful. They had a very, very uh, uh, accurate representation of what they are counting as a violent demonstration. They compared these things, and they found that the majority of them were peaceful. What you're doing right now... No, 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 what you're doing right now... telling you what, what a you're... peaceful protest is, Hunter. But they dude, so, I mean, so, dude, so how are you, think, you not you getting this? Do you think they counted one guy standing outside with a sign that said BLM is a peaceful protest? I don't know. Why? Maybe they did. I, who fucking these knows? Were, they won't realize... tell you in that study. Yes, they, they do. Won't tell the you. location... No, they don't. Yes, the report came from locations. Do you think that location is filing into this report, report or whatever and saying, hey, there was one guy over here holding a BLM sign. I guess that's a protest. Yeah, Shut probably. the fuck up. No, you, you shut the fuck no, up. No, you're you such mean? you're such a delusional little pussy ass bitch. Listen to you right Are you now. Kidding me? No, you listen to you right now. Chin? Have you seen your listen fucking? Listen to side you right now. Dude? You look like you look like the embodiment of fucking play doh. I can knock you out in one fucking uh, round, dude. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. You want to sit there and call all me right. a fucking pussy? Yeah, yeah. You yes, like I you do. Me fucking, when you yeah, me because you write off data. Yes, because yo, because you write off data and studies that hurt your feelings. You are. I'm not writing it. I'm writing it off because they won't fucking clearly define it. You're the one that fucking. Did you clearly fucking define Reddit, it? You fucking God. retard. Oh, it's a fucking study, guys. Oh, go, 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 guys. Science says. Go, 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 go. That's you. You do, yeah. my dude. You, I'm you a true. Hey, anyone, listen. I trust science. I'm a true American. Okay. Well, you can't. You can't even grow fucking facial hair. Hey. You can't even grow. Fucking I, I'm a true American. Yo, bro, bro. I'm a true. No, you're not a true American. I'm a true American. That's why I believe in science. Yeah. You know, part of how America was founded on the Enlightenment. Yeah, the you know how America was founded by fighting and, and through revolution, not through yeah, pussy-ass you know, weak wait, 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 bitches wait. like you who get their fucking political opinions fed to you by pedophiles and your wife. Okay. okay. That's who you okay. are. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, you, you're so fucking demoralized that you lost a debate and then you got fucking sidestepped by your fucking wife who mm -hmm. made you fucking do what you're doing right now. You yep. are such a demoralized little pussy. Yep. You I, I beg you. I beg you to go to a doctor, get a fucking testosterone check, get a fucking shot in your ass and boost that shit up. You might be able to grow facial hair after that. Okay. 
once you're done with all that, I'd like to read you this. So you talk about oh, the American yeah, yeah. you talk about the American Revolution. The American Revolution was literally motivated because of ideas from the Enlightenment, which was liberty, the pursuit of happiness, everyone has individual rights, you know, things that you're openly against, I assume, oh, yeah, when it no, comes I'm to sure, trans sure people and gay fathers, people. Yeah, I'm sure the founding fathers were like, you know what, let's found this country so a bunch of homos can fuck each other in the ass. That's what we want. Yeah, it's called yeah. freedom. Yeah, liberty. You know, this, this I actually think, yeah, I actually was, think this so. This country was founded on Christianity, in God we trust. Mm -hmm. that's no, actually, wait, on. what? The reason oh, yeah. people, hold on, you obviously haven't ever done any kind of studying in history. You realize the only reason, like, the, the reason that the pilgrims originally came to America was to get away from religious oppression. Even if it wasn't uh, founded on certain Christian ideas, it's not a requirement to be an American. And again, America was founded on ideas from the Enlightenment, which are liberal ideas, like the belief in science and the belief in personal liberty and the pursuit of happiness. These are American ideals that I openly advocate for and that you openly advocate for no, you against. You advocate you, against you, these you, things. You, you openly advocate for rampant hedonism, which is what's destroying this society to begin with. That's what you advocate for. Because again, you're weak, you're demoralized, and you're not making any argument. On. No, you're not making any arguments right now. All you're doing is just No, like, I, I'm not. Yeah. yeah, you're right. I'm not okay. making an argument. All right, good. I, I'm, I'm glad you acknowledge that. I'm fucking insult you. I'm, that's all I'm here for. All right, so I you want to talk about you. I, I understand that you hate me, buddy, but I'm, what I'm trying to do here is at least have a discussion with you. So maybe we could try to do that, you think? You think that's possible? Why do you, why do you talk like a fucking 12 year old girl? You think maybe? Uh, yikes, yeah, you think maybe uh, you could do that? Yikes, Beardson. Oh my God. Like, yeah, does this dude, trigger you, you right please, now? Can you please, does a little, can you please? wait, does a little funny oh voice trigger you right now? Dude, well, this is not 2016. This is not fucking Gamergate's dead, dude. We don't fucking oh, talk know. like that anymore. You, I don't your know. You sure sound. Content is trapped in a fucking time machine. I don't know, bro. You, you sound pretty fucking triggered right now. I You're mean, triggered, bro. You fucking snowflake SJW. Please, for the love of God, get a new bit, man. Please. <laughs> We're, uh, we're, we're all you know what's funny is it you really know, you know hold on wait because it really shows are down because you're fucking stuck in 2016 you talk like a wait fucking i thought i thought my year, you talk like 2016 year old shoe on head wait i thought okay? my views were down because i'm a grifter that's doing all this for money and fame yeah that's also true it's it's a, it's kind of a double whammy it's a it's a it's a pincer attack on your channel you've been totally do you actually wait do you actually think that i'm doing what i'm doing for views like in like do you I really mean, think I, it's a grift no no, I don't. Th no, I don't think it's a grift. No, absolutely not. Because otherwise, it'd, it'd probably be working. No, I think you're just totally demoralized, and you have to do this because your wife told you to. Okay, I mean, I can disprove that. Like, if you're actually interested in hearing a rebuttal to that claim, yeah, please, yeah, please, yeah, go look at my YouTube channel. I mean, I started dating my now wife way, way back in uh, the beginning of 2018. My content was super right wing. Even after my debate with Vosh, my content continued to be right wing, and it wasn't until April of this year that I announced I was leaving the right. So no, dude, your you've idea been, that you've been, pivoting, you've been pivoting for like two or three years now, man, you've been doing nothing, but you know what? I'm right wing, Wait, but I no. love trannies. Yeah, dude, you've been, you've yeah. been on this fucking down. Yeah, actually it makes, you know, it makes, a, it makes now. a lot more sense actually to support gay marriage as a, as a conservative anyway. No, no, it does not. Well, no, if you actually, not. yeah. What, you, what are you conserving? What are you conserving? Uh, by gay the, marriage? the founding it's, it's values it's of this country. No, 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 no. First of all, no, it's not. Uh, and yes, second of all, you cannot pay, you you cannot fucking procreate as as two men or two women. I'm yeah, sorry, you but can't. You, yeah, you can adopt though. But it's not. Do you know what genetics are, Hunter? Wait, hold on. Quick do question. you know what genetics? Yo, are? I know what genetics are. I know we're probably going to go get in a right, conversation so listen, about race and Hunter here soon here. No, but, no, 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 Hunter. So when a man loves a woman, mm -hmm. they have sex. So what if a man? man is, wait, wait, wait. What if a woman doesn't have a? What if a woman has no womb? What if the woman doesn't have a womb? Does is she not a woman? Are they not are they her. not a real married couple? No, yeah, they totally are. But they can't procreate. So what? It's a it's Yeah, but whoa, 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 because you you're just talking, you're talking about No, you just said gay people are invalid population. because No, you just said gay people are invalid because they can't procreate, right? Genetic data. They're invalid. I'm just saying it's not conservative. How so? Is conservatism all about procreating? I thought it was about at least in my mind it would be about conserving the actual values that this country was founded on. Things that so, ideas. So do, you, do you think butt fucking was what this country was founded on? Do you think the uh, no, fathers, but I think that do you I. Think the founding fathers were here today. They'd be like, yes, I support gay marriage. Uh, I'm not. So? I, I actually, I'm not sure. I can't speak for the founding fathers. However, I will say that people I being able. I hold on, people being able on this, and they're, they're not. They're not okay with people, it. People. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Like do you think they were okay with? Do you think they were okay with black people having the same rights as white people? I don't think so. I mean, do you think we should go back to that? I don't know. We could. We could. We could talk about it. Yeah. About how how the blacks are all inferior with the low IQs ruining society. I'm not racist, man. I really don't care. 
Okay. I promise you, I'm not. I'm not that racist. I got. Black I did friends. see a I really. Listen, I listen to Death Grips. You know, I'm a pretty hip guy when it comes to black people. Okay, I love my black folk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna pin this fucking so like I, fucking racist shit on me or whatever. No, no, no. I, I know, I know, I know. Um. Oh yeah. So you as know, far as, yeah, you know, you just fucking tried like three fucking times in this debate. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Mm, yeah, no, I, I mean. Pussy. You well, I saw – now, I did see – listen, I saw something that you said recently. I've looked up a little clip of you uh, before our discussion today, and you were talking about something with how trans people are bad because by transitioning, they're going against God's will. Is that cor a correct well, interpretation of what you said? Well, what I was actually trying to say is I was trying to decipher what is the their their reasoning for being trans, right? So it's either they were their soul was born in the wrong body, which in case they're saying that that God they believe in God, they acknowledge the existence of God, but they think God was wrong somehow, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or they don't believe in God and they are just crazy. Okay, so I mean, you realize there's a lot of medical information on this subject, right? Yeah, and it's usually goes down to like mental illness, right? Like that's what causes it. It's well, like a mental illness. Well, I mean, trans people who seek transition oftentimes do have gender dysphoria. However, transition what? alleviates gender dysphoria. So, transition if anything would be beneficial for trans people, not the other way around. Do you th do you ever think that trans people regret transitioning? Uh, I know it happens sometimes, sure. Yeah, so do you think that maybe we should like look into it more before we start cutting people's dicks off? Um, if that's what we were truthfully doing, then yes, but that's not what we're doing. What we're doing here is, no, what trans people are doing is going through a pretty long, uh, uh, like, bit of therapy where they then are confirmed gender dysphoric before they're able to start getting on hormones or have any kind of, uh, physical operation or whatever. Uh, and then once they are actually confirmed gender dysphoric, you have to be confirmed to have gender dysphoria by like three different therapists. You know a lot about the topic. Are, are you gender dysphoric, Hunter? That's a really weak insult to try and roast me when I clearly know way more about this subject and you're just a retard over here cursing no, at I me, mean, okay? You, you clearly know so, about it because you've probably been looking into it because you're a low-T beta male. And you, I think uh, no, you I look into it because... Look like wait, 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 hold on. I look into it because I'm curious about learning more things and then... And it actually is very helpful in discussions with dipshits like you. So, listen. There's oh, plenty of there's plenty of data out there that now clearly suggest or uh, clearly shows. I'm sorry that gender transition is what's beneficial for most trans people. So by you just saying, "Oh, well, they're crazy," I have a question for you. Do you think you know more than all of the medical consensus on this subject? Yes. Okay. I do. That, that's I all I needed to know. I, I because here's the thing. Do you know whenever you get uh, you have to transition, you literally have to fucking stick dildos up your fake pussy so make sure it doesn't close because your body thinks that it's a wound and it tries to close it. Are you against people you, getting plastic surgery? Yeah. Okay. Unless so, it's like you know they got like they were in a horrible fire or something like that. You know. Ah, so you're wait wait wait. That's interesting. So you're okay yeah. with some kind of physical altercation if it's like a life saving thing. Yeah. Yeah, so why what, what so trans people should be able to transition, right? Because when they don't, no. their suicide rate goes higher. Dude, you just there's shot no yourself. Fight, with, there, there, no, you're, you're, you're you just shot yourself. Regardless of what happens, they kill themselves before surgery. They kill themselves after. No, they surgery. kill themselves. Maybe they're just fucking crazy. Hold dude. on, Maybe hold that's on. what whoa, it is. Whoa, 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 wait, stop, Beardson. Beardson, wait. You realize that white males account for the majority of suicides in this country. Do you think white male is a mental illness? No, we're the fucking majority of the whole country. So yeah, there's like what zero point four percent of pe trans people in the country. No, 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 no. no. Even when you adjust, no, even when you adjust for that, white males account for the most amount of suicides. So do you think that white male is a mental illness? Uh, I think that white males are like being shit on all throughout this country. I mean, we have to go fight all the fucking wars for everybody else. Okay, uh, so social uh, aspects. Wait, wait, wait. So sh social aspects are contributing to the suicidality of white men. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, so you realize there are also studies that show that the social treatment of trans people contributes to their suicidality, right? And actually, studies have even shown that when you are now or uh, have a proper support group and are not being shit on for being trans, your suicide rate goes down. Combine that with a operation as you get older, uh, your gender dysphoria will be alleviated, and it continues to go down, and trans people continue to live better lives. So it sounds to you, me, you, hold on, know? wait, stop, because it, yeah, it sounds to me, it sounds to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds to me like you're perfectly fine with life-altering uh, surgeries. Uh, I'm so sorry, physical altering surgeries, if it's for the sake of saving lives. And you're perfectly fine admitting that social stigma can contribute to the suicidality of a group of people. So, Correct, literally, yeah. you are shooting yourself in the foot. That no, argument not. proves my point for trans people ten times more than you could ever prove it for white men. 
No, I have I just, yes, I, I have I multiple I like studies. People. I don't care if they. I know exactly. Okay, well, see, that's good. At least you're on it. At they're, least you're crazy. They're, okay, okay, okay good. So at least people. They're at least crazy. At least, at least you're they, honest, they will though. Stab you in the back. They will fucking. At try least to you're ruin honest. Whole life. I'm really yeah, glad yeah, that you're. I'm, a, I'm glad I'm that you're I'm honest. I don't like trans people. Yeah, so so you're not making any arguments. Literally, like all your arguments are rooted in you not liking trans people, right? So you don't really. Yeah, I mean, so, I, I so wish, you don't I wish care. They would get better. I mean, I wish they would get better. I do. I, I don't want you know anybody to fucking kill themselves. I don't want mm -hmm. anybody. To, right, but to that's the only why you shit on trans bad, people right. and then want to deny them the surgery that's been medically proven to help them not kill themselves. You're such a virtue signaling little fucking shill right now. Listen to yourself. Oh, I don't want anybody to harm themselves. I care about all peoples, but trans people can't have the medical surgery that's been shown to help. This is like denying a child chemo. <laughs> Hold on. This is like denying a child chemotherapy. This is like denying a child no, chemotherapy. So yes, it is. Dude. You're so bad at metaphor. You have the worst metaphor. This like, is like denying a child none. chemotherapy Bar because none. it can no, contribute not. to gene no, it's like damage. It's not you know, it's not. You you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me, Hunter? Let's 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 like, like really examine this fucking metaphor here, because this is fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. This is a dumb fucking metaphor, and you have the worst metaphors. About like I've watched all your videos; they're all just terrible metaphors. Get to the you point, buddy. You mean to tell me that chemotherapy is the uh, chemotherapy is the equivalent of fucking chopping your dick off, so that way you could prance around in a fucking dress? That's what you're telling me here. That's what you're fucking telling uh, me here. No, well, you're, actually, it's funny. It's so funny that you came into this. Fucking chopping your dick off as a, because you have a weird sexual fetish. Because that's what it is. It's a sexual fetish. Okay. Well, I mean, it's just really funny that like you're just making shit up. Uh, I'm sure no, I'm not. That's a that's a fact. It's a sexual fetish, man. That's what it is. Okay. Well, you can say whatever you want, but I'm gonna trust what the years upon years upon years of medical research says versus some random streamer guy who says that it's wrong. And if, yeah, has we'll provided we'll you right. provided no you I I we'll know see who's, who's right. right I know who's yeah. right I'm oh, right yeah I'm sure you do yeah 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 because you see your arguments as you've already admitted are based on feelings you don't care about truth you don't care about facts you don't care about yeah science. I actually have feelings I actually have feelings you so care like, about you you have no feelings because you're a low testosterone beta male and you, you can't care even about emote them you oh I know I know you, you have, have I I would argue that you have a little too I would argue that you have a little too many feelings because instead of arguing from a perspective of facts and data. Facts and logic, you know. Uh, instead, you're arguing that trans people are gross, so that therefore they're bad. I mean, it's not just the grossness. I mean, they're they're also just like I mean, they're really crazy. Like, have can, you ever talked to any? Do you have any trans friends? Do you have? Trans have you friends? ever, dude? Have you ever talked to a white person? Oh my god, they're so fucking crazy. I read no, like, I have, like all my friends are white. Oh my god, I looked up like five different articles about Florida men no, fucking alligators. Do you, do you, it's do you, so do you gross. Have a do you have any trans friends? No. Yeah, exactly. You have absolutely. This is exactly what. Like, so, this is, this so is, why do you wait? Now you need to wait. Now you need to have trans friends like liberal, to understand shit. This is what? one of those instances of a of a uh, like a, a liberal like living in a gated community and never having to actually interact with black people. So they're like, yeah, black people, and then they get mugged and robbed, and then they instantly turn racist. Like, like this is what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've no, never that's, actually interacted that's not with even these bullshit, people before. Anyway. You've never actually interacted with these well, people. Well, no, no, no. no. I have no idea what they're actually That's like not true. I've, inter real I've, life. I've interacted with plenty of trans people. I just don't have a lot of trans friends, mostly because I have a family. I don't really have a lot of friends anywhere. I mainly well, you, just you probably stick have to have my... a lot of friends because nobody really likes you because your content sucks and you're just a bitch. Yeah. And you're a liar. Um, I mean, I've provided data this entire discussion and you've said nothing but trans people are gross. I've said a lot more than that. I've called you a pussy. I've called also, you a bitch. Also, that's right. I've, you uh, told you to go to a doctor to get your testosterone checked because your T levels are obviously low. I mean, have you ever like wondered why you can't grow facial hair? Yeah. Have you ever like you're so? About it? It's so sad, man. Don't, because no, don't, don't, don't deflect. Don't don't deflect. Have you ever like actually like examined why you can't grow facial hair? I. Can, like the, there may be like a no you didn't yes, bro I come did. on don't go. that was like the fucking pedro mustache from napoleon whatever like is this is this hair, real dude. <laughs> dude that was not you're hair. so I'm, entrenched I'm in your you, dumb fuck I'm ideas telling you, please go I'm, I, this is for your own good honestly go to a doctor and get your testosterone levels checked for the love of god i'm telling you there's something wrong with your t levels all right so do you have any other arguments to make or is that it I mean, what else do you want to talk about? What, what other subject? I don't do you know. You said you disagree. You about? said you disagree with me on like everything, and so far, everything we've talked about, I have scores of data to prove my point, and you have your feelings and some insults. So I don't know. Do you, is, are is, are you, you a gamer? Do you, you a gamer? No. You're not a gamer. No. Yeah, we, we know. I mean, again, this all of these things are pointing to the fact that you're low testosterone. Okay. You're not a gamer. You you fucking turn into a fucking communist, basically. Are you? Are you? Are you? When are you actually going to come out as a communist? Oh, I'm not a communist, my dude. I'm. I actually, you know, I think that there's a lot of 
problems uh, with capitalism, but I think that socialists are too quick to just say, oh, well, socialism is the answer, when I think that there are plenty of issues right now that could be solved under capitalism. I don't think, like, obliterating the entire economic system uh, is a good move. And although capitalism has its problems, I mean, it's a statistical fact that, like, 70% of the wealth in America was earned uh, and, like, not passed down, not given. That's impressive. That's incredible. And I think that that kind of ability is really only available under capitalism. So, okay, so do, you, do you think black people should get reparations then? Um, I don't think that black people should be getting reparations in the sense that, like, we just go and give black people a check. I think that's pretty dumb. Uh, taking a certain amount of money and, like, investing it into black areas to try and create more jobs and better, like, a better all-around area... Uh, if you want to call that reparations, then I guess I'd be in favor of that. But usually when people hear reparations, they think, oh, I'm going to just go up to some random black guy and give him a check, which is bullshit. Throwing money so, at the problem doesn't, like, fix it. So are you okay with – so basically what you're saying is you're you're okay with, like, the, the government giving people money based on their skin color? Is that what you're saying? No. I'm saying that some of these areas like investing it in black communities. Well, like, it's – it's... black communities. Is that what you're saying? So you're you're for racial segregation? No. Well, how is this racial segregation? If anything, this policy would help alleviate racial segregation. Um, what I'm in favor of is recognizing that America played a pretty large role in putting black people in the poverty where they are today. And that now because of that, so. they, think that's true. It is true. And now because of that, they aren't afforded the uh -oh. same rights. So I think that in going, go, going to invest in those areas to benefit uh, the impoverished people that are largely that way because of previous American policies. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, I don't I don't. Can you not hear me? Still there? You still yeah, there, Hunter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you still hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I can't hear you if you're talking. Hold on. I can hear you. I can hear you, buddy. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Let me check. Let me check and see. Make sure everything's kosher on my end here. You guys can hear him? I can't hear him? Oh, oh, my headset died. Oh. <laughs> my fucking headset died. Hang on one second. Let me plug it in. Oh, shit. Ugh. All right, talk now. All I was saying is that because America played a pretty large role in putting black people where they are today, I think that uh, investing in those areas to help them out of poverty is anything but a bad idea. And also that would not encourage racial segregation. Again, that would actually help it. I mean, so you think that black people aren't capable of building wealth on their own then? Is that what you're saying? Oh, no, not at all. I think that black people absolutely can build wealth on their own. And I think- and why, that, do need, why do they need a government handout to do it? Well, hold on. I absolutely think that- that's another benefit of capitalism is that you really can start from the bottom and work your way up top. I think that a lot of the times black people, though, they have a harder time achieving those things uh, simply because of the position that they're in. For example, black people are majority uh, uh, impoverished. Right. And why is that? Well, it's because of previous systemic racist policies that we had that pushed black people into the communities where they still largely live today. Like what? Like what? What policy do you think was like the biggest contribution to that? Uh, I mean, I think that redlining was one of them. Okay. I think redlining was a huge one, and even though redlining, for example, was done, you're familiar with redlining, right? Yeah. Yeah. Even though that was done away with, like it's still been used. I think a redline map, the last time it was documented being used, was like 2015. So there are definitely previous racist policies. I mean, this is just the belief that like actions have consequences, right? Like, I'm sure you would tell me that the Immigration Act of 1965 had a lot of negative consequences for the country. So yeah. I'm sure you could also argue that some of our policies we uh, put on black people have a negative effect on black people today, right? I mean, we also have so many things that balance that out, though, too. I mean, there's di diversity initiatives throughout every college, black scholarships, et cetera. And yet somehow these people cannot lift themselves out of poverty. Like, don't you see, don't you see like there, there is something a little skewed towards black people, especially, you know, in the past three or four years. And yet somehow they still are not able to, to lift themselves out of the, out of the, the whole, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, come on, you, you like how much so more do, you do we think have that all, do you think that like fix their, their shit and get their shit together? Do you think that just like the majority of black people are just like lazy degenerates then? No, I don't. I just think that, We've we've given these people a lot. Like, how much? What what is the defining thing that's finally going to get make black people? Like, we really get shit together? we really haven't. What we did is we had a lot of racist policies that forced black people into certain areas. So let me give you an example. Um, redlining, for ex actually, no, I don't even think redlining is a good one. Uh, the neighborhood George Floyd grew up in. The reason that that neighborhood was so goddamn Old poor and, and impoverished 
uh, was actually because back in back in the day, there were only black like workers that were able to live there because they couldn't get any real job. They could only get menial jobs because of discrimination, which, as you can imagine, forced a large amount of black people and black families into certain poor communities where they still live today. Like people in George Floyd's neighborhood still are living in shotgun shacks that were erected in the 1920s. Like, Damn, that sucks. Like, maybe they should just, like, go to college with one of these free black scholarships and go get a fucking job. Well, I mean, it's and also... Then, because it would be very a, easy to get a job since every major corporation has diversity quotas and et cetera that they have to meet. I mean, you're uh, they, very, they really very... Actually, you're over... So, you're you're really, really summarizing things in a, in a cartoonishly, like, two-dimensional way. I mean, there have been studies that show that, like, black people are, are oftentimes denied uh, jobs just for having a black name, even if they have the same qualifications. So... I agree that there are initiatives put in place and that's good, but there's certainly more that needs to be done because as I was how, saying, I mean, how much, I mean, well, how much like, I'm, what's I'm explaining the, what's right the now, end game? How, many, how much do we have to give black people in order to, for them to get their shit together? Well, I think that we can start 100% by investing in those areas because like I already explained, a lot of those places are poor because of previous racist American policies. So by investing in those areas, we can have newer businesses open that can give people more opportunities for jobs. Another thing that needs to change is we need to stop funding uh, the public schools with the taxes collected from that neighborhood because that creates a vicious cycle where all the poor people get shit education and all the rich people get good education. Uh, there's a lot of things that can change. There's a lot of things we can do. And what we all we've really done thus far is we put a few like initiatives here. We did the affirmative action crap. Uh, and then we like er we eradicated all of the previous racist laws and policies, which is great. That's a good place to start. But that's like stupid because we're not acknowledging the effects that those policies had on black people for so long before we eradicated those policies. So, so, so what you're saying is if we if we just tax black people less than hand them a small business, then they'll be able to succeed. I mean, wow. It's that's so, so not simple. at all what I said. That is literally <laughs> it's the so most simple. No, that's well, the most uncharitable th way of interpreting what I just said. I said you can invest in the neighborhoods so that better businesses can open, whether it's from so, the Wait, wait, wait. So who's investing? People... So who's investing in this? Is it me as a taxpayer? Like is it is my tax dollars going to go to a like hand a black well, person? What do you think? Here's a you... $100,000. Open up a fucking, you that's know, liquor Exactly. That no, that saying? is the no, that's the opposite of what I said. I said we shouldn't be just handing people money. I don't want to do that. I, I, I mean, I'm not a policymaker, bro. You asked me for a couple of my like solutions off the top of my head. I know that this is one of them that will work and investing in those areas. Again, that would help to provide more jobs, which would then provide better economic security and would overall uh, benefit black people in those communities. Like, I don't believe that black people are just lazy and they can't go and like get a job for themselves. But I acknowledge that black people have a much more challenging time getting a lot of the same, like anything really, even a job. Like I just said with this, with the studies, like black people think, definitely have a more challenging time. Do you think immigration has played a part into black people declining, uh, into poverty? Uh, do you mean like, cause of welfare? No, I mean, like, mass immigration, like, you know, from, from Mexico, et cetera, illegal immigration, et cetera. Do you think that these things have harmed the black community? Um, excuse me. Could you, like, give a little more clarification? Like, what do you mean harmed the black community? How? Economically? I mean, yeah, like, yeah, economically, man. Like, as in, we import, you know, millions of people a year into this country, which makes the job market more competitive for them. Well, I've heard that argument, and, you know, there's... Pretty much the opposite has been shown that um, immigration is beneficial for uh, the country, for the economy, and that it also, for the most part, rises it, people's wages. However, I do know what you're referring to, which is that with immigration, a very small percentage of high school dropouts uh, may suffer a decrease in wages of approximately 2% eventually coming down to 1.1%, which again, this would be easily solved if we were also like investing in these areas and they had, you know, equal opportunities and thus far. So no, I don't actually think that immigration is affecting black people in any kind of like significant noticeable way.
because I'm looking at a study right now, Hunter, that says uh, this is from uh, the National Bureau of Economic Research, by the way. Uh, I've got studies, too. Mm -hmm. uh, and it says our analysis just suggests that 10 percent immigrant reduced increase in the supply of a particular skill group reduced the wage of black wage by four point cent, lowered the employment rate of black men by three point five percentage points and increased the incarceration uh, incarceration rate of blacks by almost a full percentage point. Could you send me that study? Yeah, absolutely. Right there. Let's take there a look. There you go. Okay. I'll give you a second to mull that over. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm also trying to find out if this is like a legit study. Let me go ahead and send it's, you. you, know, you no, 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 let me let me go ahead and send you my. Let me send you my counter you're, data. Yeah, you're, you're a real funny guy. You're a real funny guy because whenever whenever I question one of your studies, it's like it's infallible, and I'm just freaking out because I question one of your studies, no, and then I send you, you a study from the National studies. Bureau of Economic Research, and then you're like, "Well, hang hang on, guys, hang on." Wait guys, a second, hold on, hold on, stop. Got this fucking study here. No, wait, 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 wait. This came out, bro. This is old data. It's okay. This they're they're. There probably were negative effects, or this study was wrong. I don't know, but this was this was. And then, and then magically, came, everything got better. And no, this came out into. Yeah, this came out in two thousand six. Like we have way more updated studies that show the opposite of this. Oh, it's all. Oh, it's, it's it's all. I also, I have another with the wave of the wand. Hold everything on, everything just got better, Hunter. Wait yeah, a second. Wait right. a second. This comes from where? National. The National Bureau, Bureau of, of Economic, Economic Research. Research. National Bureau of Economic Research paper on the effects of immigration has on wages. Yeah, this is the one that found that they their uh thing only dropped by two two percent or one point one percent. So I don't know where the fuck you got this study for, dude. It's old. I got it from the National Bureau of Economic Research. I know. That's where it's, I got it from. It's it's old. Meanwhile, this guy's fucking citing like the New York Times. No, I'm not. No, I'm <laughs> not. I, like, no, I just Post. wait. Stop. I just cited the exact same. Uh, I literally just cited the National Bureau of Economic Research. So why are you trying to discredit this one? Because it's oh, what ten years old, right? Fourteen years old. Yeah. Because... And then magic again. And then and then magic. Oh, actually, no. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made I actually I made a mistake, and I will acknowledge that this is the same study. Wow, what a what a hero. Yeah, this is the same study. So I'm not sure why that one says that it was four percent when I'm looking through the entire PDF study right now, and it's clearly only one point one. Uh, I'm sorry, two percent, and then it drops down to one point one percent. So I mean, again, this this kind of goes back to like, even if like. I feel like this is kind of a virtue signal, right? Because do you really care about black oh, people it? getting wages? No, not really. I care about me getting wages. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so it's kind of more of an argument against immigration than it is an argument in favor of black people, right? It's a little bit of both. I mean, you know, I, I want everybody to do well in this country as long, you know, as, as long as they belong, they, they assimilate and they, you know, yeah. Do and well actually I have some, I have some good data on that too, about how immigrants are uh, assimilating really really greatly let me let me oh, is, that, is that right is that yeah. why when I, when I go to cicero in chicago it's nothing but like spanish is that why you think they're assimilating up in cicero in chicago i i oh you think the world's round i looked outside and it looked flat that's how stupid you sound right now it is flat okay are you, I'm assuming that's a I mean, joke, no, right? I know, I know, no, yeah. I mean, obviously, I think the world's round, and but I mean, when you talk about the moon, that's that's a whole different thing. But I mean, no. So do, you do, you honestly, do, you, do you do you call that assimilation when you go into a neighborhood and it's nothing but Spanish-speaking people and Spanish-speaking employees? I mean, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can find. Do you think, do you, hold on. Do you think I'm sure you can find a neighborhood where you know you're seeing like the difference because of immigrants there? But yeah, yeah overall, oh yeah, they're not assimilating. On. Oh, that's a lie overall the majority of immigrants are assimilating very well actually uh here we go let's see yeah they're assimilating so well that they're, they're creating their own little colonies all across america and speaking their own language that the native people here can't speak that sounds like assimilating to me oh here's another piece of data i just found really quick oh goody goody this one comes from uh goody goody come on Penn man Warren university on, of pennsylvania dude. the Talk effects like of adult dude the effects of immigration to the united states economy this is a good one right here an extensive summary showing that wage growth since the 1970s it has little long run effects on americans wages well that should be comforting for you my dude to know here's that one. here's another here's another one for you a record of 67.3 million speak a foreign language at home over 50 percent in 90 big cities and 59 percent in los angeles that doesn't mean they're not assimilating. That just means they're not. Yes, speaking. they're not even speaking the language, man. So, like they can't even so speak what? Our native wait, language. you realize? How wait, wait, wait. Are we supposed to communicate with Yo, these people? you realize that one of the qualifications with these people if we can't even speak to them. You realize that one of the qualifications for entering this country is being fluent in a language, not necessarily English. 
Yeah, and that's to- terrible, and I totally disagree with that. They should be able to speak our native language here in America. All right, well, have let, you me, ever, have you ever, let me have find you ever this thing about to, assimilation uh, here. Hold on. Have you ever worked, like, a retail job? Yeah, actually, that's what I worked before I did started doing YouTube. Yeah, I, I, I did when I was 18, and I worked at a uh, I worked at a Radio Shack, actually. It's calling out my age here a little bit. And I would have Hispanics come in mm-hmm. trying to buy prepaid phones, and I couldn't understand a fucking word they were saying. It was a fucking nightmare. And that's what you want to turn this country into. No, I no, I don't. I want yeah, to turn, no, do. I want to turn this country into what the data overall suggests, which is beneficial for our economy. Also, immigration, uh, diversity has plenty of benefits. For one, even in like workforces, diversity has been shown to show a significant improvement in speed, in uh, effectiveness, in creativity, everything. Diversity has uh, great that's total diversity. Bullshit. Diversity has great effects on our country. We still no, ha- we have one of the most diverse countries, and we also are the world superpower i fail to see how diversity is ruining our country lastly if i could just say one more quick thing um this is another study that showed that the only people that might experience a small type of wage drop are high school dropouts who suffer a decrease in wages yeah of two to 1.1 percent so it's a very small like fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the population that might face or feel some kind of like like minuscule amount of change if with immigration but oh, over think, but overall think, but just on. waking up tomorrow and everybody that works at fucking mcdonald's where you go every day to get your coffee doesn't speak the fucking language that's just a minuscule change that we but all overall need to deal with. overall yeah. overall immigration has a benefit on benefits the economy no, and yes it does and those Dude, there, uh, there's so many stuff those like, economic look, benefits look. further help the people who might see their wages very slightly minusculely affected by immigrants so everything kind of works out in the end. I think what this no, really comes down to is you don't want immigrants here, right? That's that's correct. I think we should halt immigration. Okay, so absolutely. Why? why? Because it, it lowers wages. It, it it has been the key, immigration has been the key cause in in the separation between the GDP and wages. It, it's it, it's so simple. And the fact of the matter is, like Hunter, all you're going to do is sit there and blindly read these studies without even questioning. Who's writing them? If they have any bias, if they have any agenda at all with writing these 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 uh, these statistics, if they're trying to skew anything, and I've and I've proven that I proved I, pro- I proved that earlier with the Black Lives Matter study. All you do, all you do, is read it at face value. You don't question anything. You call yourself a free thinker, and then all you do is go on fucking Reddit and read studies, and you don't question what the studies are, how the data is collected. You don't try to question sample sizes, anything like that. You just run blindly with it. We could sit here, I could sit here and fucking link you 20 studies, and you could sit here and link me 20 studies. And it's not going to change the fact that I'm right and you're wrong. No, it's not going to change the fact that my studies are peer-reviewed and yours are either misinterpretations or just... Oh, they're peer-reviewed, no they're peer, they're peer yeah. reviewed, right. Yeah, the yep. National Bureau of Economic Research. So if we yeah. can just give a quick... Really, some, wait, wait, wait. So if we can just... If we can just backwater give a, fucking, you know, website that no one's ever heard of. Obviously, no credentials Right, at all, like right? the National Bureau of Economics. Literally, you just... I'm sorry, National Bureau of Economic Research. You literally just cited these people and I cited them and explained to you how their study was misinterpreted but regardless overall right. and, and today, that's, hold what on, hold on. To. that's what it comes down to hold on. so sure far today all, we... all of my studies regardless of what they are you will say that they're misinterpreted you'll say that they're wrong you'll try to critique them but any study that you fucking read it's the fucking bible it is it is coming down from the fucking mountaintops on two stone slabs you are a fucking idiot you are okay. an idiot and you are a disingenuous lying piece of shit so so and far I, I so so far hold on I sincerely hope you go to the doctor. I sincerely hope you go to the doctor and check your fucking testosterone levels. And I hope you just stop sucking that vouch cock. I really do. I right. really do. It's All not right. going to be good for you. He's a pedophile and you should be careful. All right. All right. I appreciate your uh, your very sound fatherly like advice, my friend. Thank you. So overall in this discussion, we've heard that white males commit suicide because of societal pressure overall, for trans overall people. in this discussion we heard that but trans people... is a bitch who can't grow facial hair he's weak he's a pussy he's a liar and a coward who sucks reddit cock and cites studies that he doesn't even try to vet or question because he's, he is a brainwashed piece of shit that's what we heard that's what we heard today so that's your closing statement can i say my closing statement now yeah yeah go ahead yeah today we learned that you're totally fine with 
acknowledging that white males commit suicide at a higher rate because of societal pressures maybe put on them, but you ignore that for trans people. That's pretty That's damn right. That's really fucking hypocritical, especially when yep. we literally, yeah, I know you are, especially when we have data that actually proves the complete opposite of that. Uh, you know what? I would rather be a moral and righteous hypocrite than a total liar like you. All right. Well, I mean, that's what you're considering to be moral is not moral, but all right. I appreciate my morality the... comes from God. Your morality comes from Reddit. Where do you? Okay. So what's God say about gay marriage? Oh, he's not a fan. He's not a fan. Okay. Yeah. That, that tells me all I need to know about your understanding of the Bible. All uh, right, do, man. Do, do, do you know about Sodom and Gomorrah? Do you know about that? Yeah. Do you know the context of Sodom and Gomorrah? Have yeah, you ever, they, they, have yeah, you ever read have. the original Greek? The original Greek. Yeah. yeah. Have you? Yeah. Because it's no, not, a, it's it. not actually, kind of, Please enlighten me. it's, it's not really a condemnation of like homosexuality, especially not the way we recognize have you, it. Have today. you ever read uh, Leviticus? Yep. Have you ever read the verse right after that one about stoning gay people uh, where it says to accept immigrants as your own? So wait, you just acknowledge the fact that God's not cool with gay marriage then. Well, right? no, you, that, just that, you just no, acknowledge no. it. You just acknowledge it guys. We fucking won. Got you. Got you, bitch. Are you done? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, the Leviticus verse is actually not talking about gay people. It was talking about it, like, it's talking pedophilia. about a man man lying with another man. Yeah, yeah, which was which was like pedophilia and stuff. I can send you some stuff on it, but I mean, we we could talk about gays and pedophilia too if you want. <laughs> I got some interesting topics about that as well. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do, my friend. But it's been about an hour, and I'm gonna split. Uh, I guess thanks for this convo, and you have a good rest oh, of your day. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you die. Go fuck yourself. You're a fucking. Fuck it. <laughs>